His will for you is that you be a city that is built upon a hill that cannot be hidden. His will for you, sir, is that you be a tree that is planted by the riverside. You hear your fruit in seasons, your leaves do not wither, and whatsoever you do, prosper. His will for you, Mama, is that you be a fruitful vine in the house of your husband. Your children are like olive shoots and they surround your table. His will for you is that you be the head and not the tail. His will for you is that you arise, you shine for your light has come. The evidence of movement is freedom. When God created you, he had motion in mind. Only the goers are truly free. When God created you, he had motion in mind. That's why your feet are at the front and not in the back. Hence why you don't walk backwards. Hence why you don't walk sideways. You walk forward. Everything about you is in motion. That's why your eyes are in the front and not at the back. God had progress in his mind. You cannot succeed in this life without taking action. You cannot succeed in this life without taking action. If you need to influence your generation, if you need to stand out, if you need to be the head and not the tail, you must take action. You must take action. Like Elia said, only goers are truly free. Only people who are walking are truly free. Okay? The prodigal son said, I will arise and go back to my father. Action. The woman with the issue of blood says, if I only I may touch the hem of his garment, I will be made well. The Bible says she touched the garment, she called well. Jesus said, power has left me. She turned and says to me, Jesus said, go, your faith has made you well. Somebody say, amen. The four leopards, they say, why sit we here and die? Let us wake up and do. If we perish, we perish. And all of us will know the way it all turned out for them. Egypt will not suddenly shift and change into Canaan. I'll say that again. Egypt will not suddenly shift and change into Canaan. You must take action. You must take action. What is Egypt? Egypt is a land of slavery. Egypt is a land of suffering. Egypt is a land of pain. A land flowing with all sorts of malice that you can ever tell. What is your Canaan? Canaan is a land filled with milk and honey. Canaan is your promised land. Canaan is a land of prosperity. It's a land of progress. That is your Canaan. I'm saying that your Egypt will not suddenly shift and change into Canaan. However, there is a move you have to make from Egypt to Canaan. Now, every move in life looks like the wilderness. The move you're going to take in your life, it is going to look like the wilderness. Okay, but the good news is at the end of that move, at the end of that move is your promised land, is your Canaan, and it's going to look exactly like what was promised you. Somebody say, Amen. In order for you to break anything in life, you must stretch so that you will be able to accommodate that which is going to be born. Because what is going to be born? is too big for where you are right now so you need to stretch you can ask a pregnant woman for her to be able to conceive carry that baby till due time till nine months she must stretch in as much as she doesn't want her body to weigh out she must stretch so she will first of all be one month two months three months four months nine months and then she pushes and then the baby comes out i'm saying this to say this that dream that job, that dream business, that career you want so badly is too big for where you are right now. You need to stretch. Some of us, if you need to go back to school, you go back to school. If you need to gather more experiences, you go in for. If you need to go in for more training, please do. But you need to stretch because where you are is too small to accommodate what is going to be born. Praise the Lord. So increase your capacity, okay? If you're not tired of where you are, where you are is tired of you. Rise up, go forward, do something, just do something. And finally, your hands, your feet, your head, these are symbols of advancement in every human being's life. Your head is a symbol of your glory. Your hands is a symbol of your productivity. And your legs is a symbol of your direction. So if there's something, if there's anything you need to be doing every day is to wake up, order them, tell them to go forward. Let your hand, let it go forward. Your legs, let it go forward. Your head, let it go forward. And I pray that as we do all these things, the Lord is our combined strength in the name of Jesus. Amen.
okay so with that said i've come to an end of this video if this is your first time here hi my name is Biba brown i film about faith lifestyle tips tricks on how to get you using your mind okay you need to use your mind this channel is all about using your mind to come up with content that can be helpful for just anybody hmm? so please if you've not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell okay Give a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.